Merry Christmas, guys. I just want to say thank you very much for sticking around and supporting the channel. I hope you have a really, really brilliant Christmas. And if you don't do Christmas, just have a brilliant couple of days and observe all the weird things the Christians are doing while they play around with their Christmas stuff. So what are we going to do? Why are we sitting here? Well, Christmas is a time when there's lots of sparkly things to take pictures of, isn't there? So if you want to avoid the argument that's going on in the kitchen over who's going to carve the leftover cold turkey, if you want to avoid the new Christmas woolly competition which is happening next door, just go off, take yourself somewhere peaceful and just sit in the sofa with some mince pies, maybe a glass or something, I'm on Ribena, and you can play with your camera. It's a great way to experiment and just practice some of the techniques of photography. You don't need herds of wildebeest and auroras and mountains to practice your photography. You can do it anywhere. Christmas is a really good time to do it. You've eaten too much, so just sit in the sofa and see what photos you can find. What photos can we find right here on this sparkly tree? Let's have a look. Let's just fire up the video camera in here and see what's going on. Here we go. So look, Christmas tree. Now obviously trying to do a composition like this is not that exciting, is it? Uh, how about if we were to turn the camera up the other way? Come on, let's explore this. So we turn the camera around and again, you see, it's not so great. Very often when you've got lots of little details like this, it's better to actually get in on some of them. I'm gonna stop the video camera for a moment because I know I'm gonna to have to refocus when I zoom in. There we go, focus is achieved, hit the video button. Straight away, you can see that's looking more interesting, isn't it? So let's explore, let's look for some compositions. There's something there, but it's not quite so good. The baubles are too far apart. How about if we kind of come in a bit closer? Look, you see, now there's something that kind of has possibilities. Imagine that wasn't a mug on the window shelf and it was a Christmas card, you'd have a picture there. What else have we got going on? You see, I quite like these shapes. Look at that golden one, isn't that lovely? It's completely out of focus. Let me kill the video and refocus. Here we go. It's because as I change the focal length, so the focus changes because the lens is wide open because it's not very bright. Now look, there's a nice little composition sort of hitting away in there. If we go the other way, you see, and zoom in a bit, that's, that's quite nice. If we just get in on that single bauble, it starts to look interesting. How about again, if we turn the camera around? Now look, you see, there's a pretty little picture. Um, what else we got? You see, we've got some presents and stuff going on on the floor. We'll see if we can do something with those. But you get my idea. Right, let's take a couple. Let's just see how it looks. How are we going to set up our camera? It's dark. Flash. No way. Don't touch the flash. Leave the flash off. Flash just kills stuff. It just whams into things. I can't even demonstrate that because I don't have a flash that'll work on this camera. I don't think I've used a flash in years and years and years. So what do we do instead? Pimp the ISO, yeah? Just make the camera more sensitive. I'm currently running an ISO of about 2000. I'm using my 18 to 55 millimeter lens. Don't need anything more than that. It's nothing fancy. So let's have a little look. Let's find some shots. How about that golden bauble down the bottom? We looked at that. Let's focus on the bauble. Let's find that composition we had earlier with the four little baubles hanging there. Now I'm using 2000 ISO. My lens is at F4. That's giving me a shutter speed of a 60th of a second, a 58th of a second. So breathe and squeeze. There we go. And by using your elbow on the edge of the sofa, you've got a kind of inbuilt tripod thing going on, keeping it nice and still. How about that vertical shot? Let's have a little look at that. Let's move the autofocus point around. I'm just going to move it and use the autofocus point in the viewfinder rather than um, focus and recompose. There we go. That's looking good. And squeeze. A couple of nice little pictures. See how simple this is. Don't be afraid to get things wrong. What about our tasty mince pies here? I do love a mince pie, and I will be chowing down on some in a minute. First off, let's move the autofocus point around. Let's get it into the lower corner. I'm thinking mince pies, Christmas tree, happy days. I'm just gonna video it again for you so you can see what I'm thinking. Right, let's just take that down a bit lower. You see we've got mince pies here. If I zoom the lens a bit, you see what we got? We've got some presents, we've got some pies. It's just about finding the place where it all works. I think if I slide my ass across a bit and get lower, 
Look at that. You see how much nicer that looks. Okay, the focus is in the wrong place at the moment. I wonder if I can manually change it. I don't think I can whilst filming. I can't. You're just going to have to let me take the picture. Right, video off. Focus on the mince pies because we want them in the foreground. Let's make the lens a bit longer. See, I'm putting the camera on the arm of the sofa. Rock and roll. Look at those puppies. Marvellous. So there you go. There's no excuse. I was drunk then, didn't I? I nearly fell off the sofa. It's no excuse not to play around with your camera and practice a bit of photography just because it's Christmas, just because the family are around. Why don't you practice taking pictures of the family? Why don't you wait for some of those little moments when the kids are possibly sitting around nearby? They're never going to be cherubic and keep still for you. But if you're ready, you might capture some golden little moments and don't be afraid to pimp that ISO. So I hope you've had a splendid week, a splendid run up. Have a really, really great Christmas day. Have a really, really great day if you don't do Christmas. Cheers to everyone. Take care. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to be notified each time we upload one of our cool photography videos. Or for more great photo tips, workshops and training, come and see us at our website, photographycourses.biz.